We are at Plitvica Lakes in Croatia. Autumn vibes. I love it. We enjoy this part of autumn. But it could end up being a mess, really. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. Hi, Hi guys. guys, I'm Tommy. And I'm Peter. Welcome back to our channel. Autumn is here, which means no more tanning. Yeah, but it's sunny today. The weather got a bit better, so we are getting... <laughs> oh my god, that was a fly. We are getting a bit of sun, so yeah. maybe tanning is still a possibility. I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, but we basically want to show you around our property if something is changing, like to autumn vibes, or maybe we will go for a short hike to see if it's getting colorful, right? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> it's the time of the year. Mm -hmm. So this beginning was a mess, but let's just start the video and let's go. <laughs> see traces of autumn on our property like this shrub is really pretty bright red color so that's very nice but when you take a look on other trees around everything is still green and I don't think it will get colorful like first green and then the leaves will be gone I don't know so let's continue. We will show you these little treasures. This is the strawberry blackberry hybrid that we planted quite recently. And you can see it's already turning red, different shades of red, which is quite nice. So I hope that means it survived. And I'm curious to see if it will bear fruit next year. We have two oak trees on our property, which also turn bright red or nice color. Uh, they are quite special for us because our regular oak trees don't turn red. They go maybe a little bit yellow and then the leaves fall off, so nothing special. Yeah, or I would say they go brown. Yeah. And, yeah. But these uh, are originally from North America. So if you are from North America, maybe you find them quite common, but we really like having them here. Mm -hmm. And this chokeberry, very red, so that's beautiful. And it's interesting because we have three different kinds of chokeberry. And this one is really pretty with all the leaves and they are red. This one lost all its leaves already. And that one is like halfway there. And why is that? Because they are different breeds, I don't know. Probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, they are. <laughs> and here are our two burning bushes. They are again very red, as you can see. Yeah, they are burning. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Careful, honey. It's funny because uh, we planted these, or Peter's mom planted these originally to have some red leaves on our property. But as, as you can see, a lot of things turn red at the end. Mm, I wouldn't say a lot of things. Yeah, that's true. Like you, five of them. Yeah, you can see that the rest of the property is very green. And it will probably stay green. It won't turn any colors. So we'll have to go outside. We'll have to go for a hike or something to see some more colors. Mm -hmm. And here is our walnut tree. Big one. Unfortunately, a part of it froze last spring. Uh, so we will not have that many nuts to eat. But we saw some fall off on the ground so we will wait for all of them to fall off and then pick them and dry them mm -hmm. to see how many there will be yeah uh, and we also need to wait for the leaves to fall off normally we leave leaves alone <laughs> but we were told that walnut leaves are not good for your grass or something uh, so we will need to rake them and put them in our composter We are starting our hike here. 
And it looks already very autumn-y. Yes. Autumn vibes. I love it. I hope yeah, the whole hike will look like this or better. enjoy this part of autumn but what we don't like is that it's starting to get dark soon again so when we go on a hike we need to hurry back because usually we spend the whole day in nature and we get back at like 9 p.m mm -hmm. but these days it's dark already at 6 yeah so Peter needs to get up earlier because of it <laughs> <laughs> not really but I could or we need to make our hikes shorter yeah but good thing we are not far from our country house yeah. so yeah we don't waste time uh, by traveling to some point of interest yeah. there is this nice totem pole we are in a tramp area or i don't know how to describe it but there are quite a few of them here in this valley for example so it's not that uncommon to discover a totem pole. Yeah, and this one is called Beehive. I think this is the last weekend before the time changes back to winter time. Mm -hmm. Last weekend in October, the yeah. time changes. So called daylight saving time is almost over. And I don't know if you heard, but in Europe we are supposed to cancel daylight saving time. It was supposed to be next year but we don't know if that's gonna happen mm -hmm. <laughs> during these times. Yeah, but it's, it's not a priority anymore. Yeah. There was a big talk about it uh, to stop changes of the time. Yeah. Right? Apparently most people are against daylight saving time. I'm not against, I, I don't really care. I don't have a problem getting up at whatever time as long as it's regular every day. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, I don't have problems either, but some people don't like the changes yeah. and yeah, we call it a summer time and winter time <laughs> and there was a big talk about which time we should keep. Yeah, because each country in Europe is apparently supposed to pick one of those two and stick with it. Yeah. So there was also a poll, I think, if people want to keep the winter time or summer time. And we are fans of summertime, but most people are actually for winter time, which we don't like because it will get dark too soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no long summer evenings. Yeah, I, I don't get it why people want this winter time. Yeah, so in summer it would get dark at 8 p.m. instead of 9 p.m. for example. Yeah, and that would be a shame because you can't do activities outside yeah. until late in the evening and each country should decide which time they should keep but it could end up being a mess really <laughs> yeah. like you go from Czech Republic to Slovakia and there could be a one hour difference uh -huh. right? because there are so many countries in a central European time zone at the moment from Spain up to Hungary it's a mm -hmm. huge part of Europe and now yeah. it could be completely random yeah but it looks like the talk is on hold now and Europe has other problems now <laughs> with the virus. So yeah. yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Today we have a really nice weather because this is quite unusual. In autumn it's usually overcast or foggy uh, in our area. But this is nice and it's great to be back in our t-shirts. And we are going there on the top of the rock far in the background it's not that far actually but quite intense and we will be climbing on rocks hopefully Tommy won't be afraid I'm not going anywhere 
You are, honey, but it's going to be great. Sure. Peter is leading me again. <laughs> of the beaten path. Yeah. Now. Up. Up, up and away. Yeah, that's one more. That, to the right. But be careful because it's slippery. It's funny to think that uh, this time last year we went in Croatia swimming in the sea. Yeah, wow, <laughs> incredible. And this year nothing, no traveling at all, yeah. only here in our country yeah. and to Austria. <laughs> yeah, for Don't forget to check that video if you haven't yet. <laughs> yeah, but Croatia that was so beautiful mm -hmm. last year uh, it was in October yeah and we visited like a few areas there mm -hmm. the best one was probably uh, Plitvice Lakes National Park mm -hmm. which was really beautiful and it was like the best time we could choose because it was so colorful yeah. and really nice weather sunny yeah it was so amazing yeah. and it's a really popular spot but uh, at that time of the year the season was slowly coming to an end mm -hmm. so n not that many people like still a lot but yeah. it could be worse yeah much at worse the peak of the season <laughs> yeah yeah and it's the first time we tried filming videos yeah <laughs> for <laughs> oh youtube my God. yeah we were thinking about starting a youtube channel <laughs> A year ago but we failed I would say <laughs> it was hard to film in English it still is but like at the beginning I don't know we, we can show you some of the footage and you can have a laugh at us, us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it, it wasn't good and shaky and everything but the lakes were really pretty yeah. and the woods around it everything so colorful fall foliage everywhere dear viewers we are at Plitvica lakes in croatia and look how beautiful it is Waterfalls, lakes. Look at the crystal clear water. This is waterfall called Mali Prstavat. Mali means small, but it's not that small really. If you look at the size of it. We really love it here, Pritvica Lakes. And we were able to swim in the sea, which was also nice, since we don't have a sea in mm -hmm. our country. Yeah. And it was the first time we swam in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, that was great. The end. <laughs> the end.
One of the fall customs here is that people release kites <laughs> yeah. and like it's supposed to be windy in autumn but I've never done that. Really? Never? I I don't think so. Like we always draw pictures in school. Like you should draw fall and you would draw these kites <laughs> but never in real life. I feel like when we were kids we did that every year with our parents. Really? Yeah. Our dad uh, built the kite uh -huh. and then we went outside and we ran across the field to try to make it fly. Uh -huh. And did it fly? Yeah, every year, of course. Oh, We had great kites. Wow, the sun <laughs> is really strong now. So, I, yeah, that was fun. I remember we created some uh -huh. of these kites, I think, but we never released them into the wild. So what did you do with them? Like, it was just a decoration in your room, for example. Oh, uh, okay. No, we always used them. We are getting to the top, finally. It's a bit dangerous. Almost like Angel's Landing in Zion National Park. Yeah, look at the rocks. Now look at the views. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. If you remember, last uh, spring we told you that uh, we almost beat coronavirus. There were almost no cases left. Yeah. Uh, now we are the worst in the world, if you count it, per capita. So bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, quite embarrassing. How could that happen? Worst in the world, can yeah. you believe it? Basically, uh, during summer people forgot all about coronavirus. And I, I think also because in spring almost nothing happened. There was quarantine and everything, but there was almost no impact on anyone. Mm -hmm. There were so few cases. Yeah. It's like people decided to believe that coronavirus is like flu uh -huh. and nothing bad could happen. Yeah. So now nobody was wearing face masks because it wasn't mandatory anymore. Everybody was socializing with their friends, except us introverts. <laughs> Yeah, and now we are almost back in quarantine. Yeah, and the numbers are still rising yeah. quite dramatically. Yeah, yeah, like it's really fast, so. Yeah. Other countries are already started helping us and sending us uh, equipment for hospitals. Yeah. Because they are almost full now. Yeah. So but that's quite it, crazy. But we are not meeting anyone, so I don't think we are in danger. Tommy isn't, but I still have to go to work and yeah. If I get infected, it will be there at, at work. Yeah. If I die, it will be Peter's fault. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Remember that. You are all our witnesses. As you can see, there are quite a lot of cottages here in the area. 
and quite a lot of people because you can hear laughter everywhere. I think that's why we are diverse in the world. People don't follow the restrictions. I don't think there are people only from one household. Because of coronavirus, I'm not sure if we will be able to see our families this Christmas. Yeah, I don't think we will be allowed to travel to Slovakia, but maybe we can see our mom. We'll see. It will be a change of plans, probably. Yeah. Because normally we go for Christmas Day to Slovakia to see Peter's parents, but traveling to Slovakia is forbidden or you need to go to quarantine for 10 or 14 days. Mm -hmm. And we can't afford that. Yeah. But in two months a lot can change, so maybe everything will be different again. Yeah, maybe they will cancel Christmas altogether. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what autumn is like in our country. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. We just seen a bigger group of older men drinking beer outside. So yeah, restrictions are apparently just for fun. Yeah, no face masks. Drinking alcohol outside, which is now also forbidden. Yeah. A uh, group of 10 people sitting next to each other. Yeah. Great. That's why we hate people, <laughs> because they are dumb. But that's okay, we will have a longer lockdown, which we like as introverts. Yeah, <laughs> we don't mind. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. Yeah. Like it if you liked it. Let us know in the comments what autumn is like in your area. Mm -hmm. And subscribe to our channel. And see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.